September 19th, St. Januarius and Companions. Many centuries ago, St. Januarius died for the faith during the persecution of Diocletian. God, through the blood which his servant shed for him, some of which is conserved in Naples, continues to strengthen the faith of the church and to work there a regular miracle by its means. The beloved saint of the late third century was the Bishop of Beneventum, and had a friend, a deacon, named Sosius, who, like himself, was occupied with fortifying the Christians faced with martyrdom. When the prefect, where Sosius had been imprisoned, heard that Januarius was coming to visit him and three other fervent Christians being held there, he had him arrested. He urged him to cease his exhortations, forbidden by the imperial edicts, and to offer incense to the idols if he wanted to avoid torture. The holy bishop replied that he could not do so. He was submitted to torments, the first of which left him miraculously uninjured. The judge attributed the miracle to magic, as was often said of the Christians whom God chose to spare. He ordered another torture, which left the bishop lame, before he was sent to the same prison as the others. When two other religious came to visit the confessors, they were arrested and condemned to die with the other five in an amphitheater by the teeth of wild beasts. The animals, furious when released into the space where the seven confessors stood, came and quietly lay down at their feet, renewing a miracle seen more than once in the history of the first centuries. By this prodigy and other miracles which preceded their execution, 5,000 persons were converted. The bishop and his companions were decapitated on September 19th in the year 305. A church was later built on a nearby mountain to honor the memory of St. Januarius. Little did the heathen governor think, when he condemned them, that he would be the instrument in God's hand for ushering in a long succession of miracles which commemorate the faith and attest to the sanctity of Januarius. His relics repose in the cathedral of Naples, and it is there that the liquefaction of his blood occurs. The blood is congealed in two glass vials, but when it is brought near the martyr's head, it melts and flows like the blood of a living man. This ordinarily occurs on his feast day celebrated on September 17th in Naples, and on anniversaries of miracles attributed to him, which have preserved the city from eruptions of Mount Vesuvius or the plague. Some facts around the relic of St. Januarius's blood. For over 300 years, the blood has remained sealed up in a glass file, immovably set in a metal reliquy. This blood does not always occupy the same volume. Sometimes the black and hard mass is seen almost completely to fill the file. At other times there is a vacant space above it. Concurrently with this variation in volume, there is a variation in weight, which of late years has been tested in an accurate chemical balance. Taking the extremes which have been recorded, this variation has amounted to as much as 27 grams. The speed at which the liquefaction occurs seems to bear no ratio on the temperature of the atmosphere. This liquefaction does not always take place in the same way. Instances are recorded in which the liquefied contents seem almost to boil and are of a vivid crimson color, while in other cases the color is dull and the movement is sluggish. St. Januarius is the patron saint of blood banks, Naples, and volcanic eruptions.